must be accompanied by someone 21 or older after 4 p.m. The park also wants to remind guests about its no weapons, no fighting and no violent behavior policies. Guests are also told not to videotape other people inside the park. A surge in patients is leading to long waits at some local hospitals. In fact, one family reached out to KNBC 9 News for help after waiting more than 24 hours to get a bed. Vicki Morris is a stage four lung cancer patient. She had trouble breathing yesterday and came to the ER at Lee Summit Medical Center. When she showed up, there weren't any beds available. Vicki's husband told us she eventually got a room around 11 this morning. I did ask her, I said, why did you not send us somewhere else if you didn't have a place for it? And their answer was, well, there's no rooms anywhere. HCA Health Midwest sent us a statement saying several of its hospitals are experiencing a high volume of emergency room patients this week and a high volume of inpatients. The statement goes on to say there's no single cause for the increase in volume. St. Luke's East is expanding in Lee Summit. The project carries a $15 million price tag. We were there for the groundbreaking today. The expansion includes a 62,000 square foot addition to the hospital campus. They say they're meeting the need in a busy part of town. This expansion will house our pulmonary clinics, our general surgery clinics, our OB and GYM programs, and bring them all on campus, all closer to our patients, and allow us to continue to recruit those specialists. The hospital is also renovating a 52,000 square foot building. The new buildings open in early 2025. And new tonight, Kansas City is the center of the electric revolution. More than 600 business and community leaders gathered for an industry briefing at the convention center this evening, and among them, Panasonic. Last July, Kansas secured the deal to have a Panasonic plant built in DeSoto. The $4 billion plant will bring 4,000 new jobs to the area. All these jobs are high paying, it does not require a college degree. Uh, we have high school uh, diploma holders and you know technical college grads and that's huge uh, in the Kansas City area and you're also looking at a lot of uh, employees moving from out of state so it's going to bring in a lot of business not just on the employee front. Panasonic expects the plan to be operational in January of 2025. It will build electric car batteries. A big day for a Lee Summit School District teacher today. Stephanie Renty was named Teacher of the Year. She's in her 23rd year, teaches sixth grade science at East Trails Middle School. Damana Williams won Support Professional of the Year. She was selected out of 60 nominees, and it's her first year for the honor. It's not just teachers to help raise kids, right? We're, we're helping uh, raise our kids and, and, and help them perform and, and reach their full potential, and sports staff is a very important part of that. Other awards given out were for excellence in teaching and teachers of distinction. Some changes are coming to Royals home games. Fans can now buy alcohol through the eighth inning. Sales originally ended at the bottom of the seventh. The team says the policy has changed to accommodate the new MLB rules that speed up the games. And we have new behind the scenes photos from Union Station as preparations continue for the NFL draft. When all the work is done, the draft theater at Union Station will be the size of a football field. That will be the largest stage in draft history. The first pick happens at around 7 p.m. on April 27th. And guess what? Q39 will be the face of Kansas City Barbecue for the draft. They'll be serving people on the South Lawn behind the National World War I Museum and Memorial starting Thursday, April 27th. And the menu will include beef brisket and pulled pork. KMBC 9 News is your source for the NFL draft. Our special coverage starts April 24th with nightly specials at 630. You'll see the draft's impact on Kansas City, area prospects waiting to hear their names, and how to deal with all the crowds. We'll have you covered late night as well with live analysis Thursday and Friday night after the draft, after KMBC 9 News at 10. As we help you prepare for the weekend, we've been talking about the rain and thunderstorms that will be coming in. I'll show you that on future scan, the timing, location, the intensity, and the cold weather that will follow, how long it sticks around. A fire that could burn for days, the dangerous chemicals spilling into the sky in Indiana, and the trouble this recycling plant has caused before. A deadly combination, the urgent warning from the White House about a drug causing more people to overdose in the U.S. Committed to finding a cure, meet the former NFL star raising awareness for St. Jude. Honored as the Station of the Year in Kansas and the Station of the Year in Missouri, KNBC 9 News, leading the way.
committed to serving the residents of Kansas and Missouri. KNBC 9 News, leading the way. Right now, hundreds of people in and near Richmond, Indiana, won't be able to sleep in their homes tonight after a large fire at a recycling plant. People have been evacuated, and now there are concerns about toxic smoke. We have new drone video of the fire still burning in the town near the Ohio border. Officials think it could be days before it's out. There are several kinds of plastics inside the plant, fueling the flames and releasing dangerous chemicals into the air. And I hurried up and got home because I was having a headache, and it was I have asthma, so it was filling like it was real thick, kind of like when you was breathing, like the air felt kind of thick and like funny. Firefighters say the owner of that plant has been cited before for possible fire hazards. The EPA and state officials are now doing tests. In southern New Jersey, firefighters are making progress putting out a big wildfire. This is some of what they were up against today. That fire began in Manchester Township, New Jersey. People in more than 150 homes had to be evacuated. Those orders have been lifted. No word yet was sparked the fire. There's a new drug that the White House says is an emerging threat to the country. It's fentanyl combined with xylazine, which is an animal tranquilizer. The DEA says it has been found in almost all 50 states and it's linked to an increasing number of overdose deaths. The combination is typically used to extend the effects of being high. Along with the deadly effects, experts say the drug can also cause severe skin ulcers. $462 million, that's how much e-cigarette maker Juul will have to pay in settlements for its alleged role in the increase of underage e-cigarette use. The money will be split between six states and Washington, D.C. This is the latest in a string of legal settlements Juul has reached across the country. Juul's lies led to a nationwide public health crisis and put addictive products in the hands of minors who thought they were doing something harmless. Last year, Kansas reached a settlement of nearly $10 million with Juul. A warning for Evergy customers. Thieves are paying to have their phone numbers show up when you search Evergy online. The company wants to remind you only use Evergy.com to pay your bill online. Never click on suspicious links. You'll likely have to pay more for stamps later this year. The U.S. Postal Service will increase the price of first class stamps by three cents, bringing the price to 66 cents. Postal Service says it's to cover rising operating expenses. If approved, those prices would go up in July. Everything is almost ready for the big Boston Marathon. Today, crews painted the race's starting line in the small Massachusetts town of, Hop of Hopkinton. Crews have also been working hard to assemble the stage in what's known as the Athletes Village. The marathon takes place Monday. There are 207 participants from Missouri and 81 participants from Kansas. And one of those participants is Tyler Alt from Prairie Village. We introduced you to him last week. This will be Alt's third marathon and he'll be helping a good cause. He's running for Olivia Bloomfield Foundation, which helps kids fighting muscular dystrophy. Alt is hoping to raise $5,000. At new tonight, a KU alum is the star of a new commercial for St. Jude filmed in Overland Park today. Mike Rivera is a former NFL linebacker, safety and Kansas City native. He's in town ahead of the draft, raising awareness for St. Jude's. The commercial was made at the Westgate Middle School Sports Complex. That's 93rd in Neiman. A cancer survivor and his father joined Rivera. Their journey has lasted more than five years. That's it. 1,922 days of chemotherapy from start to finish, from the day the port went in till the day the doctor said, you're done. And he was excited because we told him he didn't have to take his, uh, his Hulk juice, that's what we called it, to get him to you know, think it was good for him. Nolan's on grit has been through several major surgeries and rounds of chemotherapy. More than five years later, he can finally get back to being a kid. Exclusive live radar and nine day forecast. So you'll know first, this is first alert weather. Katie, the weather has been, the temperatures have been beautiful. Yes. But you know, the wind has not been great for the hair. <laughs> no, I know, <laughs> I know. It is going to be the same again tomorrow and again on Friday. So whatever you did to get it under control, you're going to need to keep that going for a couple more days as the winds are going to be strong. And then they don't die down. They just shift direction over the weekend. Today's high was 78 with the help of that strong south wind. Now keep in mind the normal is 65. We're making a big deal. At least I think I am making 
making a big deal about it being so much colder over the weekend, but really all we're doing is returning to what is normal for this time of year. It's just that it's been so warm. 65 right now in KC, south winds at 13, relative humidity is 45%. And let's talk about the wind for a minute. Here's the future wind. This is future scan, just focusing on wind. And what you're seeing is the wind direction and the wind speed in the numbers. So at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, we're still looking at a south wind around 16 miles an hour. But like today, it'll get stronger with the heating of the day between 1 and 5 o'clock. Wind gusts up to about 30 miles an hour should be expected with sustained winds near 20. But it'll be a refreshing morning. It'll be nice to go out for a walk in the morning if you have that opportunity. 56 degrees at 6 a.m. at lunchtime, 76 degrees for St. Joe, and the high in St. Joseph will be 83. In Kansas City, also pleasant in the morning. Temperatures in the mid 50s, 70s in the afternoon, all the way up to 81 for our high tomorrow. And our southern communities about the same. Morning lows in the lower 50s, afternoon highs will be in the upper 70s and lower 80s. So just like today, warm and windy. And Friday also warm and windy. We reach 80 degrees on Friday before the front moves in. There will be a few more clouds on Friday. There could be a pop up shower or thunderstorm during the day, but the biggest chance of rain comes in late at night Friday into early Saturday morning. And this is the area that has the risk for seeing storms primarily for large hail is the risk that we're watching for. And this is Friday night again when these storms will get bubbling up. When they come into Kansas City, since it will be in the middle of the night, they're going to lose some of their dynamics needed for severe weather. So we might have one or two that prompt a severe thunderstorm warning, but mostly this will just be real heavy rain, kind of noisy thunderstorms like we had the other night that may wake you up. Notice they go through pretty fast in the middle of the night, and then there'll be another round that comes through later on Saturday. Here's a recap of our storms. Friday afternoon and evening, a couple of strong thunderstorms are possible. Most of our rain comes in overnight Friday, ending early Saturday morning with just one more round later on Saturday for some of us. So that's why this time frame is a weather impact. You'll see that on the forecast in the form of a yellow triangle, indicating that the weather is expected to interrupt your plans outside as a result. So a little bit muggier on Friday as well as the humidity increases ahead of that front. And then we're looking at that high on Saturday of only 62. Northwest winds gusting to 25 miles an hour. Sunday also beautiful, sunny, 63. And while that will be so much colder than Friday was, that is closer to the normal. Again, the normal is around 65. Monday and Tuesday, we're back in the low 70s with another opportunity for rain coming in on Wednesday. A crime-fighting robot now on the streets of New York City. The features it has that will help crack down on crime.
Officers with the NYPD now have some high tech help on the streets. The department welcomed this robotic canine to the force. The $74,000 robot wow. comes with video cameras and is remote controlled. The robot can help in hostage situations and other missions. Well-known Kansas Cityans are revealing their favorite places in the KC area. It is part of our very local streaming series, Hit Me With Your Best Spot. Kansas City native and musician Kemet Coleman says there is no place like home. I think Kansas City is home for me because I kind of like being an underdog. It gives me hunger. It gives me opportunity because I have to create my own destiny. And underneath all of that is the support that exists here. I've always had a desire to, to bring change. And there's no better way, in my opinion, to, to do that right here where I'm from. I'm not going anywhere else. You'll find out his favorite spots for collecting nostalgia, enjoying a variety of ales and places for dinner and a show. But first, download our very local app for Amazon Fire TV, Roku, and your smartphone. The bats come alive for the Royals tonight, and they are in Texas as they wrap up their road trip.